Okay, so I'm now going to show you how to create a sprite sheet. Um, so really, you should be breaking your animation down into something like this, where you've got each frame like this, two, three, one, two, three. Um, really, this should be, so say this was a run, I'm only going to use these three for this demonstration, but if you was doing a walk, you'd have as many as the walk is in the cycle. Same with the jump, um, but they need to be broken down into the frames. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to go to File, New. We're going to create a document that is 1024 by 1024. Uh, potentially you could do this 2048 by 2048. Again, that power of two, but we're going to use 1024 by 1024 for now. Um, you may want to use 16-bit color. This is all fine. So you'll get this blank document. Now, one thing you're going to have to change is if you go to edit, scroll down, down a few on my preferences, and then your guides, grid, and slices. It's going to be important in a few demonstrations, not just including this one. In here, you can set up your grid. Now, Careful, make sure you change the centimeters, inches, whatever it's on, to pixels to begin with, and then change your number. Otherwise, if I change centimeters to 128, and then, oops, open that back up. Uh, guides, grids, and slices. See, it's on centimeters. If I now change that to pixels, this number changes. So we need to change that back to 128. So you'll have this at either, depending on how big you want your animation to be. So it could be 256, 512. Uh, it just depends on how many images you've got. So on this case, I'm going to make it 512 because I've only got the three. And then your subdivisions will be at one. Again, your color can be changed in here if you wish, but I should keep mine at gray. It's okay. So up here at view, uh, obviously this one is 512 by 512, 512 by 512, and so on. Obviously if you need more, you'd make it smaller, or the document bigger, either way. You then go to show, and make sure this grid is ticked on. If it's not, you'll just see no grid. So if you go to show, grid, there you go. So now, I need to make sure that these are going to come across on here. So, I'll select this one to begin with, command C, command V, now yours should be already set to a specific scale um, of, of a square, this demonstration these are not, so I'm going to have to scale them up, I want them to be about the height, and then just sort of centre them, like so something like this and then the exact same I hold shift and drag yep. try and set this up in the same sort of place before this one command C command V again set this up to the corner so then I can scale it up the same as the other one Hold shift when you drag, so it scales it evenly. So I wanted it about the same line. Then you may just want to push that over so it's central. Again, something like that. So yours will be a lot cleaner than mine. Let me set it up That's because I'm using a demonstration piece. Again, Hold shift and move across. I can select this final one. Again, command C and command V. I'm just going to set this up in the corner over here. Scale this up. Position this in place. 
again remember this is a cycle so you want it on walking on the spot so we'll go from oops, it's a little bit big just like this and now I'll just have this empty one at the end um, so yours will have more frames than mine I imagine so you'll need smaller squares but it'll give you the same demonstration now the last thing you want to do is just turn off the background and make sure you've got just an empty view now actually this one looking at it I think the back foot is supposed to be on the floor so really my character needs to be oh, oh, no, that's about right I think um, so now this is all set up you've got no background make sure if there is anything behind any of your drawings you need to get rid of that with the magic wand tool or however you want to do that however you feel most comfortable so next I am going to file save a copy to save it as a target but I'm just going to save it as a Photoshop file save it on your computer save it somewhere you're going to know where it is so I'm just going to put this on the desktop name this character walk 01 obviously name yours in more detailed so if it's a specific character um, name it that character's name walk and then the number of the walk um, just so you know what it is and you can find it easily okay now I can close this don't need this anymore so now we're going to go into Unreal select Unreal load as you can see that Photoshop file is just here take a little while depending on how fast it wants to be doesn't usually take this long but almost there You may want to skip ahead a couple of seconds just till Unreal's loaded up. Here we go. So we've got the setup here, some old projects I've been testing. We've got the games. Next. 2D side scroller. Next. Let's see if you've got a game set up, just open that one. Um, set this up as usual what it's at should be fine you may just want to turn the no start content off doesn't make too much of a difference and then in here make sure you name it something appropriate if you, this is the first time you're making the game so uh, I'm just going to call it character walk test create this project give it a couple of seconds to boot up Running a little slow today. Now we're in. We have got your content browser down here, your game set up here, um, and some things at the side. The outliner and details on the right is going to be quite important at times to change details that you may need. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to do this in a number of ways. You can have a right click on the content browser sorry not right and import an asset or the easiest way for me just to find it on you wherever it may be so mine's on my desktop here it is the photoshop file and then just drag that in to your content browser down here so now I let go and close this you'll see that that's been brought in this little star here it means it isn't saved to the game so therefore you need to press two ways there's a couple of ways to save you can press save all 
just here or you can double click on the item it'll bring it up so you can check it check the background's working everything and just press save up here either way does the same trick so now you've got this what are you going to do my computer's not working too well so you usually can right click and find uh, create a tile map a tile set sorry uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to create we're just going to go to paper so we right click on the content browser paper 2d create a tile set this will create a blank tile set so I'm going to call this to walk tile set in here if we double click we can then change this here to tile sheet texture to the character walk uh, obviously pick what's right according to you just here um, so then what you'll get is this now what you want to do is break this up to the size that you made it so uh, the tiles were 512 by 512 press enter and then just press save for your exit then what you can do is write sorry, one second um, you can now go back to paper 2d create a sprite so I'm going to call this character walk sprite double click in here again source texture you're going to click your character walk 01 so you get something like this now what you need it to do is separate them up so what we're going to do is we're going to go to edit source region extract sprites now you can do this with the right click as well so sometimes it will do this auto you'll get yellow boxes around it if not it's not to worry just change this from auto to grid you create a square like this and to change your grid here you need to remember them numbers that we put in before so if it's 64 by 64 you need to put that in here if it's 512 by 512 you need to put that in here so it breaks it up into those squares that we had before now before you press extract you might want to change the name here this zero inside the brackets will number them accordingly so one two three without you having to change anything so I'm going to change this to sprite walk underscore again and then the number so now what I'll do I'll press extract I can press save on this close this and what you have here are the three separate images now what you may want to do now this is getting quite busy is right click go up to new folder name this folder after after the character and then walk so you can then drag all of this or click on one and shift click to the other and drag all this inside the character walk and just move here yep with a notification and then if you double click that you'll end up with everything in that folder just so it's out of the way you know where it all is you're not going to get a really messy overall folder um, so now what we need to do is select these three individual ones that have been taken out we right click and create flipbook so what it's going to do is basically animate them inside the game so if we select this name this character walk Flipbook, and you'll see it now animating on the screen. So we double click here, it opens it up, and you can see those three are playing. Now, at the moment, it's running too fast. So, to slow things down, I need to lower the frames per second. So, I lower this to five, it's only doing five frames per second. So if I lower it to three, it's only doing those three. If I up this to 30, it'll go a lot faster 
So we just lower this down to three and then go down here to collision source and click this onto each frame. This is gonna mean that it's gonna collide on every frame. So no matter when it's walking, it's going to collide with whatever it's touching as long as that's got collision on it as well. So we just press save up here and close this. Now we have a character, it's walking a bit slower on screen now, as you can see. Um, we now drag this in. We now have the character animating within the game. So next we need to ensure it's in the right place. So pull this out. We need to set the Y to zero, because that's on the same level as the character. So if I hold Alt and drag, you can now see it's at the same place. If we send a negative, it'll be behind the character. If we send a positive, it'll be in front of the character. Set that at zero. Pull this up. And then if we lock this, we can scale it down. Pull this down. And then if you hold Alt, drag, you can make a second one. This one might be, might be smaller. Again, we scale this down. Put this one here. So now, if we go to play, just click on here. The character can't go past them, that big one. You can jump on this one, because it's got the collider on every frame. Just remember that, each frame. Um, Again, what you'll do is you'll do this for all your character's animations, any other animations that are in your game. Um, you'll do the same process. Once this is all set up, we will then start to show you how to connect up a certain movement. So if it's walking this way, that it does move, move across screen and is connected to a key. But we will work on that in the future. Uh, use something called blueprint so remember that for when we get to it as you can hear, see here blueprint add script don't worry we're not typing any code it's just blueprints um, so that should be your characters and sprites within the game so just make sure you save all save current and that'll save everything so now you should be able to bring your characters animations into the game